2025 Science CBT. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the light unit. So let's get right into the questions. I know you have your exams very soon. So we want to get out as much material as possible. So number 10 says the diagram shows the picture of a child and his shadow. Use the information to answer item 10. Which statement describe how the shadow forms? Shadow forms when the light is turned off, the light part is blocked by an object, light shines through an object, or a light reflects off an object. And the correct answer is B. Both opaque and translucent materials will form shadow. So opaque materials are the ones that don't allow light to pass through entirely and translucent material allow some form of light to pass through. So for the opaque materials, they form darker shadows and the translucent ones, they do form shadows, but they're lighter than the shadows formed by the opaque materials. Let's move on to the next question. The arrow shows the light ray from a flashlight shined onto a mirror. Use the information to answer item 11. In which direction will the light rays most likely go after it hits the mirror? So let's look at the mirror and the light ray. So the light ray is going upwards towards the mirror and if it's reflected it what do you think will happen what direction would the light ray go into and let's see let's look at the others so the answer is b so typically i'm just gonna draw it on the same b diagram so if the light ray came in this way and hit the mirror typically it will bounce back in the other direction right so it bounces off the mirror at an angle in the other direction or the opposite direction where it came. And that's why B is the correct answer. Let's look at the next question. A student made some statements about shadows in the table below. Use the information to answer item 12. Circle the letter to show if this statement is true or false. Let's look at the statement. The color of a puppet sh shadow on the depends on the color of the puppet. Is this true or false? Hmm. So if we know anything about shadow, when we look at the shadow, is this shadow usually the color of the thing that is that the light ray hits that's not usually the case right so this is not a true statement it's actually false right so for the opaque object that forms a the that forms a shadow will not appear colored on the screen Let's look at the next question, next statement. The shape of the shadow depends on the shape of an object. This is true, right? Because a dark shadow will always be formed taking the shape of the object. Let's move on to the next question. The diagram below shows a boy going to feed a horse. Use the information to answer item 13. So let's look at the boy here. So this, we can see, we can analyze the diagram by saying, 
and this the arrow is the direction in which the light way the light ray flows so the sun shines on the boy and then second he looks at the horse and then third the sun light rays shines on the horse and then the horse looks at the boy so that's what i'm taking away from the diagram so which two light rays best explain how the boy is able to see the horse so c is the correct answer which is light ray three so when the sun forms the light ray and it shines on the horse then that's how the boy is able to see the horse so we see object as they reflect light and it is seen by our eyes so the light ray from the sun shines on the horse and the reflected light rays travel to our eyes let's move on to the next question a student is investigating the formation of shadows using the apparatus set up below use the information to answer item 14 so we see the light source here and there's a metal ball and then there's a shadow that is formed on the screen so the student makes the following statement as the light moves closer the shadow got bigger this statement is most likely to be a conclusion a method an observation or a prediction this would be a conclusion because this is concluding what would happen as a result of this experiment so we said a conclusion is based on the result of the experiment conducted and it represents a summary of the investigation so this will therefore be a conclusion let's look at number 15 students in class 60 use the apparatus below to investigate shadows the class form different prediction Use the information to answer item 15. Which of the students' prediction would be correct? If we make the box bigger, the shadow will get smaller. If we move the flashlight nearer to the screen, the shadow will get bigger. If we use the bigger flashlight, the shadow will get bigger. And if we move the box nearer to the light, the shadow will get smaller. So we can think of this as a projector. When we are using the projector, many of us um, see our teachers setting up the projectors at school. Is it that when we move the projector closer towards the board, the, the window on the projector gets larger, or if we move it farther, it gets larger. So these are investigations we can see in our daily lives and see how they operate in the similar way this diagram would operate. So b is correct that if we move the flashlight nearer to the screen the shadow will get bigger because as light gets nearer to the object the shadow will get bigger and the size of the shadow will depend on the closeness or the position of the light source to the object so there were the questions from the light portion in our next class light por portion of the light and sound unit in our next class we're going to be looking at the sound part of the unit and you don't want to miss that because students you're seeing where i'm going through not only the questions but also the concepts behind these occurrences so you definitely want to stay tuned to that video. Thank you for watching.